Open heart surgery is one of the most expensive treatment options. Many of the patients in Uganda are often referred to India and other countries for operations. Then when the doctor checked, she heard that her heart sounds were not on a normal rate. That's when we found out that she had a heart problem. But Director Murago Heart Institute, Dr. John Omagino, says the country has all the necessary equipment to carry out open heart surgery. In fact, Murago has conducted some of the operations before. The facility we have is such a huge facility. I learned this personally from a Kenyan doctor who normally comes to the Heart Institute and he says we have the best equipment in the area. But the biggest challenge is the lack of doctors to conduct the operations mainly due to poor pay and lack of medical consumables for the procedure. Now the issue is the few doctors I, I, I have, they are really running around the clock, the 24 but many are breaking what is down. Dr. Magino told the Watchdog Parliament and Public Accounts Committee that Murago Hospital is stuck with over 400 children in dire need of open heart surgery. And that one would access 400 children or 400 patients, open, yes, including open heart surgery and these other procedures with a saving to this nation in terms of millions of dollars. If only he had $5,000 for each of those children, uh, which is a third of the cost of the operation, he would be able to operate all the 400. Dr. Magino also informed the MPs that much as government has heavily invested in procuring open heart surgery equipment, most of the money to fund the operation is from donors who seem to be fatigued. They are fed up with what, that issue of begging and begging and begging. And we have culture, put a, a wrong culture in our patients and the community. Senior officials of the Heart Institute had appeared before the committee to respond on accountability queries raised by the Auditor General. But the lawmakers sympathize with Dr. Magino in the wake of the huge challenges in managing the institute to save the lives of many Ugandans. You, you, all you need is money and doctors. No more people should go abroad for art operation. I'm sure Parliament will be just too ready to give you the money. It's the responsibility of government to help our people. And I think based on the revenue that they generate, we can plan for this. Dr. Magino, who speaks with passion about the Institute's woes and his love to save lives, said he tabled a report before the president capturing the worrying state of affairs, but he was yet to get a response. It is even on the head of state's desk. Yeah. Oh, the that's, that's good news. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.